so loose. So I don't like them, but they fit. It's so nice to be able to get pants that fit. <laughs> Turn my camera around backwards. They're doing the whole camel toe thing, even though they're not tight, so I don't know. You know these things, look, they got some stretch to them. <laughs> See, I know I couldn't resist a good little while I was in town, right? <laughs> it happens to be the same walking around. Just got back from Lowe's, just put everything in. Toilet's fixed, shower's fixed, cost less than 10 bucks. Can't even tell you how long that toilet's been messed up. The little thing in the back was messed up and wouldn't float all the way down. And we always had to stop and fix it, so I couldn't even put the back of the toilet on there because every time you use the bathroom, you would have to take it off. So I can put it back now. Yay, I got a new, I don't know what the hell that little fleshy thing on the inside's called. But I got it, put it in there, did it myself. Shower, it's tub, a suction less than thing. Bucks. Suction anything. I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, well, suction's to the bottom, so I mean, I guess so. Anyway, it's fixed. I'm so happy. I don't know how long have we, that. How long has that been messed up? That toilet? Yeah. Probably since we moved in. Nah. Close yeah, to like it. Two years. Close I've to it. Fixed for two years. Anyway, glad well. to have that over with. <laughs> hey, you guys. So I decided to add a sugar-free Jello and a little bit of ready whip to the top of it. Now this might kick me, I don't know. It seems like here lately that things I used to be able to have, I can't have. So I don't know, but I'm gonna try this out. We'll call it an experiment of sorts. And also pre-eating this, I also have um, a sore throat and sore ears. So I don't know if this is gonna make things worse on me. We'll find out. <laughs> well guys, sorry it's dark in here. Sorry that they're playing games and all that. I'm gonna take my three potassium, my two magnesium, and get ready to head off to bed. I think I'm coming down with something because I, I started off, well, I mean, my ears and sinuses have been hurting for a few days, but now I have a really sore throat and my neck is stiff. My body temperature might be a little screwed up too, I'm not real sure. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go lay down, see what happens. Maybe I'll feel better tomorrow. Much love. Good morning, my favorite keto folks. Uh, my blood pressure this morning, 138 over 92. Resting heartbeat, 58. That is the lowest I have ever seen it. That's pretty damn awesome. <laughs> so I'm getting ready. Hold on, let me cut that off. Let me take this off real fast. Sorry, guys. I know you're seeing dirt. <laughs> so, first thing in the morning, I usually take my vitamins. I don't think I've showed y'all this before. I've showed you these before. Sorry. Trying to make it focus. I just not want to do it. Come on now. There we go. So D3K2, because I have a D, uh, vitamin D deficiency that I've had for years, I fill the bottom of the dropper that goes under my tongue. I fill this to one milliliter. This is vitamin B. It's a complex, so it's got a bunch of different vitamin Bs in it. But it's just a Wally World thing. And these both have taken care of. Guys, I'm on the phone. I'm Sorry, everybody's moving around this morning. So I just put those two droppers under my tongue with just a little bit of that in it and that. Now, the D3 is crazy important. Um, so the D3, y'all know that that's good for you. This is sunshine, sunshine vitamin. The K2 helps move calcium and stuff around to the body where it goes. It takes it out of the joints and arteries and moves it into your bones and teeth where it belongs. So that's another great thing about keto because you're eating so many meats and if you eat the grass-fed meats, it has more K2 in it. And that's something that our diet is seriously like, lacking. I'll put the link below to this in the bottom if you want to get it. This right here, again, is just a Walmart special. This bottle, y'all, 17 bucks, has 6,000 doses in it because each just one single drop is a dose. And I usually, like I said, I fill the bottom of the dropper because I have a pretty nasty vitamin D deficiency. And it's taken care of with this. Here we go, guys. 
Hey guys and girls. <clears throat> Lovely, huh? So, uh, it's breakfast time. I accidentally broke my fast earlier. I wasn't paying attention and I ate a boiled egg. <laughs> I was like, damn. So, I'm going to go ahead and have my breakfast at noon. Um, three ham and cheese roll-ups. Pepper jack cheese, mayonnaise, lettuce, ham. It's Carolina fried ham. And a second boiled egg. What's up, guys and dolls? My favorite little keto family. Uh, so glad to have you back, or if you're new, so glad to have you here. Um, this is my keto diary day 436. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. Long, boring, crazy day. How do you explain that? You see the redness? I walked outside for 10 seconds and was mauled by mosquitoes. Again, this is just the worst summer we've ever had with mosquitoes and stink bugs. I'm fighting these bastards like I'm doing kung fu in my kitchen, I swear. I think I found where they're coming in at, so I'm working on sealing that off. Ugh. <laughs> I can't stand them little bastards. They get on everything. They have, they don't care. You got a fork, they're going to stand on it. Doesn't matter. Kitchen sink, plates, whatever. They'll get on everything. They don't care. Um, <laughs> sorry. So I've been working on plans for my kitchen all day. For those of you who don't know, we live in a house that's free because my dad bought it for $200, moved it on his land. It's a single one trailer. We used to live in a great big beautiful house, but it cost us a fortune to live there. Sorry, I had to get up on my legs. Anyway, it cost a fortune to live there. So I lost my job. We moved in here and right after Hubby lost his job. That was like six years ago though. But this house has been abandoned for 25 years. We've lived in it for, I think, almost six years now. So there's really no excuse that it still looks like shit. I mean, my floors are literally, I and mean, I don't mind the floors, but I want something different. <laughs> my floors are literally plywood, but there's no weak spots. It's, it's real thick plywood. They put it down all through the house so that there would be no weakness because, you know, the old trailer floors, you leave it abandoned for 25 years, they're virtually null and void. I mean, they were, they were literally mush when we moved in in some spots. So, it's got brand new replacement windows. Well, it's got new replacement windows in it. That's the kind of work my dad used to do with side and replacement windows and stuff like that. So, the windows are good. The floor is sound. The roof is sealed. Uh, it still shows some water damage in one area, a couple areas, um, which annoys the living hell out of me. It's embarrassing, honestly, for people to come in here. But again, it's free. And it was abandoned for 25 years, so you have to allow some horrors. But my kitchen counter. Now, the countertop is scrubbed as clean as it'll ever come. I mean, it's, it's been bleached and everything in the world. But it's fallen in. Um, and I do not open the bottom cabinets. I refuse. I'm not opening them. I'm not looking at them. I'm not cleaning them. Up. I'm not touching them. So anyway, I figured out what to do with my kitchen. And since we're poor, it has to be done as cheap as possible. So honestly, I want to take a sledgehammer to that. Just clean everything off. The stove can go, can go somewhere, anywhere. I don't want it. Um, but like, I, I just want to completely clean out that area. It's like, I think I measured it at about 14 feet, three inches. So I just want to rip it all out, get a new sink, get a countertop and I've been checking at Lowe's. I saw one but I don't know what size it was and it was about a hundred bucks and it was cheap. So if I can get a 14 uh, foot, three inch countertop across there, I'm good. I don't want no lower cabinets. I, I don't want no shelving under there at all. I, I literally just want to clean it out from underneath there um, completely, scrub it all down, um, paint it white in the back of it, put a countertop up and use some like L brackets in the back of the countertop across it to hold it in the back. And then I want to get logs and like completely clean them off. I don't want any um, bark on them, but I want to clean them off completely. Um, set them down a little bit and polyurethane them and just put six logs across the front or more if it's needed. Um, I want a blue backsplash. I want to paint the upper cabinets blue. They're, they're sound, they're not falling in or nothing, but that bottom cabinet thing. I don't want shelves, I don't want cabinets under there because all that does is attract mice and bugs and you can't see them and you don't know they're there. I don't want that. Blank, okay? I will put, I was thinking like metal toolboxes because critters can't get in there as easy. <laughs> like the ones you get at Lowe's um, or uh, 
a hardware store or something, just metal toolboxes, and I'll put my, my silverware out in the middle, okay? I'll put some something to absorb the water, so my silverware on top of it. I'm good with it. In, in fact, I, you know, I'm just, I want my kitchen done. Six years, that thing's cruddy, it's fallen in. I'm so sick of it, and I'm ready for some changes. So I've been looking for the cheapest possible ways to do everything. And these floors, literally, I'm fine with that hardwood, the plywood. It's good and sturdy. There's no real need to do much except for completely sand them down, make them look good. Because I can't, I can sweep them, but I can't mop these floors. I can spray them down with Lysol and kind of dab them up, but it's hardwood. There's nothing I can do with it. So I just want to sand them down, make them look good, maybe even paint them, and then put polyurethane over top of them too, which is like a... Uh, you'll have to just look it up. It, it would work. And I'll be fine with that. I mean, I don't need to spend a million dollars. I don't need to spend a thousand dollars. Just get me a damn countertop and rip that shit out of there. I, I don't want a stove. A hot plate with two eyes. I've got a toaster oven. I've got a little deep fryer and a microwave. A hot plate would be just fine with me. I can't access my stove. Where it sits, you can't pull it open because it hits the wall. So, I just, I don't need my oven anyway. I don't use it. Um, plus, it's old and it's cruddy and I don't know what's been in there, so I've never used it. Um, I've used the stove top and that's all. <laughs> and we've stored some old pans and stuff in it, so I do know what's in there. It's not like spider web or anything, but I still don't want to use it. Let me shut up. Oh my God, I've been talking forever. Y'all don't even care about this probably. Um, and some people tell me not to shut up because they like to hear me talk, but I don't know why. Because I'm just, eek. I painted my nails. <laughs> just coming in. Hi, some of my children are home. Anyway, let me go ahead and get back to your diary, which I just seen that Destiny, who just walked in, has written on my diary. It says, You're super cute. I love you, and you're doing great. I agree. Because <laughs> I'm awesome. Too. Like that. Hey, baby. You guys can see me around. Brian! Sorry, had to yell at children, adult children, put my hair up. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Keto Diary, day 436, October 7, 2018. Yesterday, I had, I, now the reason I tell y'all yesterday's food is because yesterday's food is what affects today's weight. So that's why. Yesterday's food, three sausages, three eggs, three pieces of cheese cooked in coconut oil. Um, I only showed y'all two on the video, but my husband didn't want one of his and one of his pieces of cheese with nothing on it, so that's my story. I hate it. Fat girl behavior. What do you want from me? <laughs> um, then we had hot wings and ranch, homemade. I boiled them, then I fried them for about 10 minutes. My camera froze. I don't know why. Um, and then I had a jello cup with Cool Whip or whipped cream. That did not seem to affect me. I didn't get kicked. Thank heavens, because once in a while it's nice to have 